Greetings. My name is Tim Stark, and I am a professor of civil engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. I'm recording videos to demonstrate various ASTM test methods for assessing the index and certified properties for geomembranes used in containment applications. Today I'll demonstrate a field test used to evaluate the effectiveness of seaming geomembranes for containment applications. The test method today is ASTM D5641. It's called Standard Practice for Geomembrane Seam Evaluation by Vacuum Chamber. This video gives an overview of the test and then I will describe it in detail. ASTM D5641 is a non-destructive test for evaluating geomembrane seams and patches. This can be used for either factory or field seams and patches. It is a quality control test and it is based on a vacuum or suction being applied to the seam. In the prior video, that was a field seam being tested by the vacuum chamber. This is a diagram, figure one, from the test method. And the chamber is shown on the right. A pressure gauge is inside the chamber or can be outside the chamber to measure the pressure applied. And that pressure is actually a vacuum, which tries to pull air from the underside of the geomembrane through the seam. And if it is able to bring air through the seam, bubbles appear in the vacuum chamber. Those bubbles are accentuated by the soapy water that was applied to the seam in the first video you saw. The test method can be applied to any type of seam. It's best to apply it to thinner materials so the vacuum chamber seats well on the geomembrane. It's not good for uneven subgrades because gaps can develop along the bottom of the chamber and introduce air, as well as thick geomembrane seams. Here is the same video, and you can see the field seam. The vacuum chamber has a clear window to see the development of bubbles. The other technician is putting soapy liquid on the seam. The other technician puts the chamber down with some pressure over the seam, starts the vacuum, checks one seam, doesn't find any bubbles, checks the other seam and thinks that there is some bubbles coming up through that seam. And so that area will be checked, marked and checked for a patch. This is a video showing the air chamber move down the seam. The technician is moving it to the left side and right side of the seam to make sure both sides do not leak. The other technician is applying the soap and water to the seam in front of the vacuum chamber. This is the table for recording the results of the vacuum chamber test in the field. There's some introductory information at the top the two important pieces of information to include is whether the seam is being tested in the factory or the field. And you can see the X I have shown there is field. And also what type of seam. In this particular example, I have a single hot wedge weld seam. Each time the vacuum chamber is test is performed, it's listed the seam tested, the number of the seam, the vacuum applied, the hold time over the seam, 
the number of defects found, the number of defects repaired, and that eventually the seam is accepted and the date of acceptance in the last column. Any other comments can be added to that data sheet. If you have any questions about the vacuum chamber test, ASTM D5641, please contact me at tstark at illinois.edu or the Fabricated Geomembrane Institute at fabricatedgeomembrane at gmail.com. If you're interested in geosynthetics and geomembranes, please visit the FGI website. There's a lot of interesting and useful information on the website, such as specifications and guidelines, detailed drawings for installations, technical papers and journal articles, a library of webinars, ASTM test method videos on laboratory and other field tests, as well as other important information, which can be found at fabricatedgeomembrane.com. Thanks for viewing this video.